Hey guys, this is Mr. Perkins 92. Today I'm going to be taking a look at the Nokia Lumia 920. Let's check it out. Hey guys, thanks for checking out my video. This is the Nokia Lumia 920. I bought it late last year, about a month after they came out. It's 130.3 millimeters tall, 70.8 millimeters wide, and 10.7 millimeters thick. It weighs in at approximately 185 grams. It's a heavier of the newer smartphones made within the last year or two. The original cost last year was $99 with a two-year contract through AT&T. It came with a free wireless charger while supplies last. I'll show that in a separate video. I've got mine, but I don't have it with me right now. The current cost right now, it starts at one penny, for, pretty much free with a two-year contract through AT&T. It comes in five colors, black, white, yellow, red, and cyan. Cyan is the color I have here. Um, whenever I first got the phone and unboxed it, the first thing I noticed when I picked it up was the curved edges. Makes the phone really nice and easy to hold. As soon as you pick it up, you notice it pretty easily. And then you notice that the has the really nice curved Gorilla Glass. Let's see if you can see it. It curves right into the side of the body. You can barely feel an edge. It's really nice and it's really durable. And then you notice the display. It doesn't go the full length of the screen, but it's a 4.5 inch display. There are three bottoms at the bottom of the screen. Three buttons. The one on the left is the back button. The middle one's the windows or home button. And then the search button. On, also on the front, you have your front facing camera. It's the secondary camera of the phone. It's 1280 by 960 pixels. And it shoots video at 720p. And then on the bottom of the phone, you have your speakers and microphones built in. The left side, it's just a solid side, just the curved edge. On your right side, you have your volume up and volume down buttons, your power and sleep mode button. And then you have your two-stage camera button. It works. You hold it down one click for focus, and then you press it again to take a picture. You can also start the phone in camera mode by holding it for while it's in sleep mode. Um, on the top of the phone you have your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and then you have your SIM your uh, SIM card holder. You get a little pointy key thing to stick in there and it pops right out for your SIM card. Uh, on the back you have your primary camera. It's an 8.7 megapixel pure view camera with a Carl Zeiss floating lens with image stabilization. It's a really nice camera. It's one of the, whenever I bought the phone last year it was pretty much the nicest camera you could get on a phone. It has a high power dual LED flash and uh, this camera records full 1080p video full high definition and it has a video playback frame rate of 30 frames per second. For the processor for the phone it has a Qualcomm Snapdragon S4 which is a dual core processor that runs at 1.5 gigahertz. The phone has one gigabyte of RAM. This particular phone has 32 gigabytes of memory. And then you get seven gigabytes of cloud storage. Here's what the phone looks like at the main menu. If you haven't used the Windows Phone 8, well, a phone with Windows Phone 8, uh, these are live tiles. They're just your different programs and stuff on your phone. And you'll notice a lot of them are flipping like the ones for Facebook and stuff, they flip and constantly update and tell you whatever you want to have on there. And you notice, probably noticed how I said before it's a 1.5 gigahertz processor which isn't much compared to newer. Newer phones are coming out in the mid twos, about 2.5 gigahertz, but the way the Windows Phone 8 is laid out, it works really well with the processor. So it seems quite a bit faster. I've used, I've used phones around 2 gigahertz that didn't do certain things as fast as this phone will. Um, let me show you the camera. You press it all the way just to start the camera. And you aim it whatever you want to and you hold it halfway and it'll start to 
it'll use the flash to figure out how much flash it needs for the certain picture and it auto focuses here I'll take a picture to show you and there it is it takes a really nice picture it's really clear zoom works really well not nearly as well as the new Lumia 1020 because of the sensor on it but it still works pretty well it was really good last year when it came out you can also go to the right side of the phone and it has a full entire list of all of your apps and tools and anything you download and you can just sort through it alphabetically it holds all of your um, games you download it's in the games menu which is also connected to your Xbox Live account it'll have your avatar your achievements, you can change your avatar's clothing, what it's wearing Xbox Smart Glass which is really cool and you can look at your friends list, your messages pretty much everything for your Xbox the apps that came on it were Nokia City Lens this one's pretty cool, it augments reality just hit all you look through your camera and it'll show like you can see right there it shows different restaurants and stores and things like that haven't really used it that much but it's a cool idea then you have your drive beta I'm not going to open it right now but it's turn by turn navigation and then you have Nokia Maps and then you have Nokia Music which is a really cool app it's only for Nokia and it's a completely free music service you can make your own radio mixes, stream music to the radio uh, you can make mixes of your own mp3s that you have downloaded on it the only thing is you have to be careful with your data if you don't have an unlimited data plan or don't have Wi-Fi, it will run through your data pretty quickly um, overall for the phone it's been a really good phone I use it every single day. I've dropped it numerous times. You can see it has scratches on the screen right here. But I've never had a case on it. I've always carried it in my pocket. Never put a screen protector on it. You can see smudges right now, but they wipe right off. It's been a pretty good phone. It hasn't acted up, hasn't messed up or anything. And the weight, it is pretty heavy compared to newer smartphones. I mean, you'll definitely notice the weight, but it feels solid. Like You don't hear any noises in it nothing nothing rattles or anything I mean it's solid so overall I think it's a great phone I think it's a great comeback for Nokia because they haven't made phones in a really long time well any good phones for that matter but I think it's also a good introduction for Windows Phone 8 which is getting more and more popular that's another thing I wanted to mention the main thing is don't expect a ton of the top apps like you get on the App Store and the Android, the uh, iPhone App Store and the Android App Store, they're just not there. Windows Phone 8, there's just not enough developers developing for it right now, but it's slowly catching up. But overall, I think it's a solid choice for a new smartphone for anyone. So thanks for checking out my video. Um, like, comment, subscribe, all of that. Let me know what you think about the phone, if you have the phone, or if you have any questions or any issues with the phone. Thanks for watching.